Friday Tech Show, Mr. Arwad from Henkel. Hello, thanks Hello. for coming. Tell us a bit Thank about you. Henkel briefly. So Henkel, as you probably know, is a very large company which has three divisions, which is beauty care, uh, laundry home care, and, um, and adhesives as well. Right. Um, so we are um, a part of the adhesive business, which is concentrating on electro uh, electronics. Right. And within the electronics, we have printed inks, which are either silver inks, carbon inks, or dielectrics. Right. And, and so what are these? So these are uh, uh, printed heaters, which has right. a silver bus bar with the line track silver with a PTC carbon ink print on top of right. it which has the functionality that it will go up to a certain temperature yep. and then it's stabilized. So it has a positive temperature coefficient, which then stabilizes on a certain That's temperature and it will never overburn oh, okay. the circuit as such. So what sort of application would that be used in? So this could be used in, in, in car heaters, uh, seat heaters. Right. It could be used as a, um, uh, as a floor heater element. Right. Uh, on the carpet, you can use it in an aquarium as well to right. heat up the the, uh, the water of uh, the aquarium, see. for instance. So if it's sealed, like it's sealed here, yeah, you can uh, you can also dip it in water. Right. Yeah. And so it looks like you also have stretchable inks here, which are being tested Indeed. in this bend tester. Indeed. So is this, that a relatively new product? It is. It is right. uh, still in development. Uh, the product. So this material is printed uh, printed on a tape. Uh, and has a very high elongation rate. So in that sense, you can print it on a surface and then bend it over in every form that you like right. so that you can be able to incorporate in 3D applications as well. Right. Where do you envisage that being used? Sorry? Where do you envisage that being used? Well, this could be used for antennas, for instance, in, in cars. This could oh, be used right. for, for every 3D dimension right. application that you will uh, have, right. to, have to have a line track. Right. And so what have you got on show here? So this is, uh, so this is a, a wearable, wearable medical device with seven materials from Henkel Incorporated in the design, okay. uh, which is an ECG sensor picking up uh, data from the, from the body right. and then transmit it to, to, the, uh, to the electronics, uh, nice. which is a medical device, as you can... So these are the central electrodes and there'd be the power supply and transmission within the electronics which is removable. Exactly. Right. And how long would that be envisaged to be applied to a person? Is that for 12 hours or so? No, this is normally for somebody who's admitted in, uh, in, the, uh, in, in the hospital, which yeah. can be last for two or three weeks. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. And what does this replace? Does, there, does this replace a wired version? Exactly. Right, so really untethering the patient. That's really exactly. nice. Yeah. And these are a list of all your materials going into that product? Indeed. So this is, uh, this is a list of all the materials that are incorporated within this design right. uh, and are compatible Competitive right. with each other as well. Right. Yeah. And I see you're also working on in model electronics over here, which is, uh, I think, a really exciting topic. But how far do you think away from market in model electronics is? When do you think we'll actually start seeing these in the automotive industry or white goods appliances? Well, I, I definitely think this is a large, a large market for us in the sense that you, mm. as soon as you have the design uh, freedom, of using these materials in every shape and form right. and also out. have a certain temperature stability in terms right. of requirement you can do basically everything in the design right right so how do you work with suppliers to bring this technology to market um, you, you said you're an ink supplier but can you can you help with pull through marketing so to speak do you also yeah. approach the end users uh, to you know encourage their interest in this Definitely. So we work uh, uh, together with uh, well off customers and also institutes to develop uh, uh, develop materials which are required in the market in terms of, of design capability and also the requirements in terms of uh, processability of the materials. Right. So oh, nice. this. Oh, yeah. And then you can start the the, uh, the joint uh, joint development with the end customer to understand their needs and then. Uh, producing material accordingly. Nice. Great. What are the biggest challenges for you in creating these materials? I would say the uh, definitely the the uh, flexibility of the materials um, in, in terms of bendable and then right. still have a high conductivity right. um, is 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 a very is a is a is a challenge for us. Right. Great. Great.
So in the end, you still need the silver material, which has a high conductivity in terms of functionality, and then also be bendable. And Ankle, of course, has been supplying conductive inks for a long time. You've been in the print electronics industry for, for 10 years plus, I think. So where are, you, where are your mature markets? Where are you currently selling a lot of your silver ink to? What sort of sectors are using it today? So it's the medical sector, the automotive uh, sector, and also the industrial sector. Right. But the vast majority is in, in automotive and medical, I would say, right. for the inks. Right. Misawa, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Was that any good? Yeah, it was perfect.